Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to see the new version of Youth WooCommerce Custom Order Status, the plugin you need to create and manage advanced order statuses in your shop. We're going to see the new dashboard and all the options so you can start creating your own custom order statuses. Before we get into it, let me remind you that we list the links to the plugin, documentation, and live demo with access to the admin dashboard below in the description or in the first comment. And now, let's get to it. Let's go to it, custom order status. Here we have this new redesign panel with all these tabs, order statuses, settings, your store tools, help, and the option to collapse the menu. In the first tab, order statuses, is where we can create all custom statuses. As you can see here, I have several created. For example, I have a delivery status, in customization, assembling, you can basically create any status you need to fit the processes you need to follow for the orders placed on your shop. So these are the names of the statuses. Here we have icons. We can choose to assign icons to each status or use a label instead with just the name. Then here we have the status type. For this option, you can either create each status as a custom one like these ones or you can override a WooCommerce status. In this case, the deliver status overrides the completed WooCommerce status. Then we have the slug, the next actions, which are basically the next actions you can apply to an order when it has this status. So for example, for placed, the next action can be processing. And for assembling, the next actions can either be delivered or dispatched. And last, we have all these options that were configured while creating each status. So for example, users cannot cancel the order when it has any of these statuses. They can only pay for the order when the status is dispatched. And we can even see if an email is sent and to whom. For example, when the order has the downloadable status, an email is sent to the customer. But let's see all these options in more detail by creating a new status. Let's click on Add Order Status. So let's say we sell products that need to be printed. We're going to create a status called Printing. The slug is automatically generated. And then here we have the status type. It can be a custom status or we can overwrite any of these WooCommerce statuses. We don't have completed available because another custom status already overrides this WooCommerce status. Let's choose Processing. This way, after the payment has been received and the stock of the product has been reduced, the order will be printing instead of processing. Then we have an option to choose the color. This is the color that will be shown in analytics orders. Let's set this orange. Then we have the graphic style. We can either choose an icon or the text. If we choose the text, it's going to be labeled with the name of the status. In this case, it would be printing, but let's choose an icon. So we can choose a default icon or we can set a custom icon. Let's do that. So here we have all these icons to choose from. Let's do this one. And then here under user permissions and extra options, we'll see most of the options we saw last in the statuses table before. Since I chose to override an existing WooCommerce status, some options are automatically enabled. But if I were to change it to custom status instead, they would all be disabled and I would need to choose which ones apply to this status. We have options to allow users to cancel, pay, or even download files when this status is applied to the order. We can choose which are the next statuses that we can apply to an order after printing. We have deliver. Let's also choose assembling and dispatched. Now this set order as paid option can be enabled to consider the order as paid when it has this status. This option won't be visible if I choose to overwrite the processing status again or even the completed status, say it's not there. This is because WooCommerce considers orders with those statuses as paid by default. Then we have the option to display orders marked with this status in the store reports to show the status in WooCommerce order actions and to restore stock quantities when this status is applied. Again, since this status is overriding a WooCommerce default status, we would need to edit the email that is sent when orders get this status in WooCommerce settings emails. But let's change it again to custom status to show you the email settings we have right here. Before moving on, let me remind you to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so you know every time we publish a new video. Now, let's continue. Here we can choose the recipients for this email notification. Let's do customer. Here we can enter the name of the sender, 
the email address, the email subject. Let's say we're printing your order, then the email heading and a custom message. We can use any of these short codes. For example, I use the customer first name to start the message. You can also include the order information if you want to, which would be billing and shipping address, order items, total and more. Let's do that and let's save the status. Status published. Let's go back to order status table. And here we have the new status. You can see the icon is orange because that's the color that I chose. We have the name, the status type. We ended up choosing custom status, the slug, the next actions, and the permissions and extra options we set for this custom status. Here we have bulk actions to edit or move several custom statuses to the trash at once. We can filter statuses by date and we can also search statuses here. And here we have an option to import statuses in case you have other custom statuses already created with another plugin. Then in settings, we'll see an option to allow shop managers to manage order statuses as well. In your store tools, we'll find additional tools to improve user experience, increase conversions and loyalize customers. The best options are request the quotes so you can hide prices and the add to cart button and let customers request quotes for the products you sell. Ajax search so you can add a search engine to your store and Ajax product filter to add your own filters to your store. With these two plugins, you can help customers find the products they're interested in and improve the user experience in your shop. And last, we have the help tab where we're going to find the link to the documentation so you can see how the plugin works and how to configure it and the link to submit a ticket in case you need help from our developers. Last, let's go over to WooCommerce orders. So here we have some orders with the custom statuses. If we hover over the statuses, we'll see more information about the change. And here we have actions so we can change the status of each order with just one click. For example, here we have two statuses to choose from, dispatch and complete. Let's change it to dispatched and there we go. So it changed from assembling to dispatched. If you cannot find the actions column here or in the plugin dashboard, you can check the screen options and you see the next actions and all the fields you can enable here. And of course, users will see the name of the status in my account orders like this. Okay, so that's how you can configure and use the plugin. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and we'll meet again for our next video.